Somebody wants Sean Puffy Combs completely destroyed. Yes, I. No schooling. Good day. Respect and love to each and everyone out there. Big respect to all the people, them subscribers, they don't know. YouTubers. Yo, people, check this, watch this carefully. If you want to check this video, and please leave your feedback. We know that did he guilty of certain things, right? From seeing the, the vision with him on Cassie and all these things, we know that him do certain things, but all of a sudden, 100, 300 people, now 3,000 people have come out with charges against Diddy now. It's weird, and that lead me to believe it's a setup. The, the, they're taking it further than it actually is now. They're going to wipe him out. This is a bigger thing than we are actually think, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to just dive into it right now. And people, please tell me what you think about these things that's being said by Dr. Umar, and then by this Virginia, we don't know him name, and then after that by Diddy Farmer bodyguard seeing so all the things them that we're hearing right now we have to really look into what he's guilty of and what they're going to throw on him because you don't know they might bring out the the fake crowd and the lawyer they might try to get as much money as possible you know they're going to try to rape him get all them billion millions of dollars out of Diddy now you know that right that is the case so people just tell me what you think about these things let's get into it somebody wants sean puffy combs completely destroyed and i think i know who it is I believe it is Diego. I believe it is the British-based liquor company that Puffy was doing business with. They're one of the biggest liquor companies in the world. They market and sell some of the most popular brands of liquor, including Ciroc. And Diddy had an agreement with them where they would help him market his daily owned tequila brand. And Diddy took issue with Diego because they had described the De Leon tequila liquor, Puffy's brand, they described it to their customer base as if it was an inner city, urban, quote unquote, ghetto, hip hop type of liquor. And Puffy took issue with that because he said, I'm a global icon. I'm a hip hop mogul. Don't limit my product just to black people. And by doing that, you're dissuading white people and non-blacks from buying my liquor. You're cutting my sales low, and I think you're doing it on purpose because you don't want De Leon Tequila to outsell all your other European control brands. So Puffy accused Diego of racial discrimination in advertising and marketing. Diego got upset with Puffy. British-based company. They said, you done already made a billion dollars off of us. How dare you sue us and try to make a few more billion off of us? So they tried to get the case thrown out. But the judge allowed the case to proceed because Diego claimed that there was a clause in their contract with Puff that did not allow him to ever take them to court. Any grievances, according to the contract, Diego alleges needed to be solved outside of court. But the judge sided with Puff and allowed the lawsuit to go forward. So Diego is losing black money because of this racial discrimination piece. Other companies don't want to do business with them because they don't want to be uh, branded as anti-black, even if they are, because everybody knows we disproportionately spend more money on liquor than any other group. So Diego is losing money. Then on top of that, Puff then already made a billion off of him. And now Puff is suing him for a few more billion. So what do they do? They decide to settle out of court. Now check this out. Diego and Puff settled out of court in January 2024. Puffy's homes are raided in March. There's no way you're going to convince me that a company that powerful, Diego operates in 180 of 194 countries in the world. They operate in 180 out of 194 countries in the world. You are not going to convince me that one plus one does not equal two. There is no way they were forced to settle with Puffy in January and less than two months later, his homes are raided. And I'm going to tell you how Puffy, how I believe Puffy gave them the ammunition to go after him, Art. When Cassie, when Cassie made her accusations against Puff, he settled in about 24 hours. 
and they settled in November of 2023. Mind you, he's already in court with Diego since the spring of 2023. Watch this timeline. He sues Diego in the spring. Cassie comes out in the fall. He settles with Cassie in 24 hours. Diego is watching this. So when Diego decides to settle with Puff outside of court, they did this knowing full well, we about to go after you and destroy you. You are messing with the Illuminati. You have no idea who you effing with, Sean Combs. And when Puff was so quick to settle with Cassie, that showed the whole world he was vulnerable. You want to know why Diddy did what he did? We have to go back to L.A. Why L.A.? Why L.A.? Listen up. Lee, let me introduce you to Carter's theory of criminal investigation. Criminal investigation. Follow the rich white man. Follow the rich white man. Follow the rich white man. Exactly. Now you're learning. Every big crime has a rich white man behind it waiting for his cut. Now enough? Every crime has a rich white man waiting behind the scenes, waiting for his cut. Now we know who it could be. Some of you are saying Jay-Z, he's not white. Some of you are saying Clive's, Clive Davies, whoever that is. Is that him? No. We've got to go to LA and check out the rich white guys Diddy was hanging out with. That will tell you who is behind this whole thing. Are you in or are you out? Here's the big problem, people. Diddy opened the door for speculation from every angle. So not only the Tupac charges and the Tupac case with, um, you know, sending the, the million dollar killer, you know, the million dollar payment. Everybody know about that. Everybody know about the Cassie kick down, the beat down. I mean, he pretty much lined himself up to get executed right now. And that's what they're doing. So look in the media right now, instead of the regular, what you expect, you hear you know, a whole bunch of new shit, 100 people, 300, how much people had 3,000? I don't even know how much people they say coming after Diddy right now, bro. The number keep changing. Look into that, people. So I'm here looking now like, hold up. This got to be a next level setup. This is not normal. Let's dig in. In addition to the violence, the indictment alleges that Combs threatened and coerced victims to get them to participate in the freak offs. He used the embarrassing and sensitive recordings he made of the freak offs as collateral against the victims. And just two things I noted from the indictment that were interesting to your point, the, the discussion of video evidence. Now it doesn't say from what I read in the indictment explicitly that there is video evidence different from the recovery of the lubricant and the, um, and the firearms, but it does suggest from the way that it's written that there is video potentially. Uh, and I know I'm not supposed to say that part out loud, but so, some people need to be put down like the dogs that they are. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm calling for the execution of Diddy, but if it happened, I think the world might be a little bit better off. Diddy's freaky past has officially caught up to him. The tapes we never thought would surface have been found, and what they reveal is way worse than anyone expected. We're talking about crimes that could put Diddy behind bars for life. This scandal is bigger than we imagined, and it's only just beginning. Brace yourself, because what you're about to hear will leave you absolutely shocked. So One of the biggest mistakes Diddy made was doing that energy vampire shit he was doing. Sucking energy from these little young girls, young women, 50 year old, 54 year old, whatever age, dating 19, 20 year old woman. All of that right there, drag him down. I called it out early. I said, something is wrong with this dude. Something is up with this dude. Anytime you see men doing weird shit like that, they're into anything kinky, weird. Like bro, leave the little young woman them for the little young man them. Dude, get somebody that's 35, 40, you know, closer to you. Damn, bro, that, not even 35. You 54, bro. Get somebody that's 40, man. You trying to go back 19, year old. Something was wrong from that get-go. I seen that. So he buried himself pretty much. That's why they could put his neck, could tarnish him now to the worst levels because of his own actions, people. Still, after much observation, I realized a lot of pe these people were down with it. Like Steve Harvey was vacationing with you and his little 20-year-old daughter. So they already was into the weird stuff. They, you probably, they probably pimped her out to you. So you could get him a check. So, you know, so that's the type of weird shit going on over there, seem like. So did he? Wherever come for him right now, people? He lined it up for himself. Check that. The biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. 
The wall of silence has now been broken, and victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Now before we discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, let me comment on the large volume of calls we have received since our first announcement. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and had screened a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise, for a variety of reasons, are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. Another instance of this individual who was nine years old at the time uh, was uh, taken to an audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Uh, other boys were there to audition as well. All of them were trying to land a record deal. All of them were minors. Uh, this individual was sexually abused allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio uh, in the promise uh, to both his parents and uh, to him himself of getting a record deal. Um, Puff said, I'm P. Diddy. I run this city. Tell the cops, the DA, and the feds to come get me. If you niggas try to leave me for dead, you're coming with me. Understand, bro, there's some bigger fish to fry. And the feds gonna make sure they get the fish that they wanna fry. They gonna build this shit up to make him wanna tell everything he know. Oh yeah, he gonna snitch. He gonna tell it. You know how long this man been talking. Tupac was the first one was calling Diddy out. Then Gene Deal been talking way before all these allegations came up. Now, people, what you gotta realize is that the chicken them come home to roost, that's what them call it, right? That's what them call it. So right about now, you can see even Justin Bieber face falling apart. Ever since Diddy get in trouble, even Justin Bieber face crashing, seeing the robot crash. See me? All the drugs with them get a little coyote right now, mash him up to the point of right now he might try to cope. Or either he might play a game with people or him face really stroke or you got a stroke in the face type thing. As you can probably see from my face, um... I have uh, this syndrome called uh, um, Ramsey Hunt syndrome, and it is from this virus that um, attacks the nerve in my ear and my facial nerves and has caused my face to have paralysis. As you can see, this eye is not blinking. I can't smile on this side of my face. This nostril will not move. So there's full paralysis in this side of my face. So for those who are frustrated by my cancellations of the next shows, um, I'm just physically obviously not. <laughs> capable of doing them. Uh, this is pretty serious, as you can see. Um, I wish this wasn't the case, but obviously my body's telling me I gotta slow down. And um, I hope you guys understand. And uh, I'll be using this time to just rest and relax and get back to 100% so that I can um, do what, uh, I was born to do, but in the meantime, this ain't it. I gotta, 
gotta go get my my rest on so that I can get my face back to where it's supposed to be. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for being patient with me. And uh, I'm gonna get better. And I'm doing all these facial exercises to get my face back to normal. And um, it will go back to normal. It's just time. And we don't know how much time that's gonna be but it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. And I have hope and um, I trust God and um, I trust that this is all gonna, it's all for a reason. And um, I'm not sure what that is right now, but in the meantime, I'm gonna rest and I, I love you guys. Peace. Hey, check out this next video fam, crazy. Please subscribe, like, share, stay tuned. Please also leave your feedback. Big up. Nice.